Welcome to this edition of OpenSCAD. In this episode today, we're going to talk about this little gizmo we've designed up here. So one of the things I found a little bit of a need for is a USB uh, cover and clip. So uh, not having something like that, I decided to whip something up real quick in OpenSCAD, and here we go. So it, overall, it's not complex. And again, we'll take a look at printing it out and what it looks like and, and everything in the real world. However, there's a couple, I think, neat pieces here to kind of share from a workflow standpoint. So now one of the things is typical. I've made it parametric. So over here we have all of our parameters so we can change the various pieces as one of the key parts is the ability for it to clip on to a cable. And that's what you see here in the circular piece is the ability to clip on to a cable. Now, what if you have a different cable size? Well, no problem. You simply go over here and you select a different cable size. So say we wanted a 7 millimeter cable size instead. There we go. And everything scales parametrically to match that. So that's kind of the cool thing about um, uh, this. So, uh, But one of the things kind of getting there... And I think one of the larger challenges with OpenSCAD in general is really working out the translate components of the whole project. So one of the things you'll see here is, again, I've set up a union to create the basic structure. And then I've created, uh, I've embedded this in a difference to subtract out the various pieces to make this uh, look like it does. So uh, one of the things is matching the uh, translates with the shapes and, and that's one of the things that call your attention to. Now I'm not gonna you know go through this in great detail. You can kind of look at it yourself but when we look at these various pieces how each part relates because if we look at the different components here which let's do that let's just simply pop some percent signs in here real quick. Love the percent sign. So we're going to make those stand out. So you see we have th really three pieces here. So we have the main cube over here, and then we have uh, another smaller cube to create fillet, and then we have uh, obviously a cylinder to create this piece. So all three of these have to scale in proportion to one another. So you know, as one expands, the others have to also expand in conjunction with it. So get taller, get shorter, etc. And so these are some of the key pieces of this whole whole thing of working with OpenSCAD is really if you master the translate command, uh, I think this is probably about 80% of OpenSCAD really is, is if you want to do parametric work. And so again, I'd highlight these. Take a look at how these work because sometimes it's a little bit counterintuitive uh, on how the, sh how the shape should work together, especially when you're setting true because true uh, obviously works off the origin. So it's typically a half of a half and this is what you're, you're seeing here as I'm doing division and multiplication by two. So it, it's, it's m moving the pieces in reference to that common origin. So anyways, um, I think some, some good tidbits. The other tidbit I wanna leave you guys with is um, um, this one right here so let's go ahead and pop in it is so is to create this this notch to receive the cable so what we wanted to do is is notch this out so what I did is actually use the cylinder and then I called I called it as having three sides um, with the FN function and here we go so it notches it out so makes for a very nice simple way to receive a cable or to create a, a you know a staggered notch into something or an angled notch so uh, that was pretty handy I thought that was a nifty little trick that I wanted to share with you guys and again we pop it out here so um, I think that covers out pretty much uh, again it's not a very complex build I've uh, scaled up the sizes of the USB just a little bit because um, I'm going to print. I've printed this in both ABS and PLA. The one we'll take a, a watch of the time lapse is actually in PLA, so it's pretty rigid, so it doesn't doesn't flex like the uh, ABS. So you have to give it a little extra room, um, and especially for the cable size, I've upscaled the cable size a little bit. I think my cable is actually like 4.5, 4.6, and so I've made it five again because the PLA doesn't give a lot. But anyways, so you kind of get the idea. So let's uh, jump over. Let's watch a quick time lapse and then let's go over to the bench and put the actual product together. So let's head out to the time lapse.
Welcome back to this edition of OpenSCAD. So here we are, here's the actual part. We printed it out on the Fabricator Mini uh, in PLA. And uh, kind of long story short, we talked about how it worked in the computer. And so here in the real world, um, just as we talked, it slips on the end of the USB uh, connector. And well, actually I'm gonna flip it over like that. And then what this does is now clips to this cable here we're pressed on the bed, it's a little tight, and now it just clips right on there. So you can clean this up probably a little bit more. It's a little tight at, at the end that went on the bed, um, you know, because, oh, there we go. So it pressed in there really nice, and so now, long story short, this will hold it like this, look neat and attractive. This won't get caught on various things, and since it's clipped to this cable, so. Anyways, this was a, a, a very interesting build. Um, Again, most of uh, the interesting things in OpenSCAD, sort of as I talked about when we looked at the code, is really translating out the various pieces to connect and also making it parametric. And that's one of the things I really like about OpenSCAD is, again, by making things parametric, we can scale this to whatever size and it won't matter. This, the part will be the same, just bigger. So uh, anyways, hey, hopefully you found this uh, build interesting. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. A lot more of this coming. Cheers and see you in the next video.